Day two of the magic weekend in Holliers, Sweden, and a complete change in the weather conditions. From the dry of Saturday to heavy rain on Sunday, and a greasy track through each and every one of the corners. It's round three of the FIA World Rallycross Championship, and can anybody stop Johan Christofferson? In the big finale, Christofferson again is perfect off the launch and draws clear to go from green light to the chequered flag with very little bother or issues from the rest of the pack. Early joker strategy for Kevin Hansen doesn't work as he clips the barrier on the exit. A good battle, though, this time, and a fair battle this week between Timmy Hansen and OC Baby. Timmy Hansen moving up into runner-up position, but no one, absolutely no one, can match the pace of Johan Christofferson in what has been a perfect weekend. Once again, undefeated in Super Bowl, winning all of the heats and seen here in brilliant form to take his third win and his third maximum point score of the season. Johan Christofferson loves the wet, he loves the dry, and can anybody beat him? 69 points from three races and a 38th career win. Good to see Timmy Hansen and Baby on the podium for the first time this season, but it is all about the defending champion, Johan Christofferson, in brilliant form and comfortably at the top of the standings after three from ten rounds. It's round two of five for the RX2 E Series, and the defending champion Victor Frank, seen here in the green and blue car, is determined to get his season back on track after disappointment two weeks ago in Norway. But it's Nils Anderson with a brilliant joker lap strategy that takes the early lead here, only to get into a little bit of bump and barge between his great rival Victor Franks. And that battle allows a little gap to be found by Oli Henry Steinschultz, who squeezes through the middle and takes his first ever win in the RX2 E Series. It was a disaster for Ollie Henry two weeks ago. He's the champion here in Holliers today. In the standings, Jacques still holds top spot. Anderson and Victor Franks make up the top three. In the Euro RX1 final, it was a brilliant race for Patrick O'Donovan. Coming from the back of the pack, row three in the start, to go all the way to Britain's first success in a European RX1 series victory since Liam Durant in 2013. He had to battle with them all, including the Danish driver Ulrich Linnemann, but it's that gutsy style that took Patrick O'Donovan to the top. Look at him here against Robin Larson, who nearly flips the car as O'Donovan exits the joker lap. The Irish driver and the British number one digs in deep after Larson throws it away in the final corners, and it is Patrick O'Donovan that takes the checkered flag for his very first Euro RX1 victory. A popular win for the British star, a popular win for the teenager. He jumps up the standings into runner-up position. He's just four points behind the defending champion, Anton Markland, after four rounds from six. And to the penultimate round of the Euro RX3 front-wheel drive car round, everybody was watching Damian Litvinovich looking to possibly lift the title today, but it all went against the Polish driver, Espen Izetra, the Norwegian driver who's been knocking on the door all season long, finally finds top gear in Holliers at Sweden. Drawing clear with problems for Riviero, the Portuguese number one, allowing Litvinovich to move up to second, but it was Espen Izetra that went from the green light to the chequered flag to record his first ever Euro RX victory and going second in the standings, Litvinovic will have to wait until the last race of the season to potentially lift the European title.